Hey people, Gotti Edelman here with a different type of review. You may recall about a month ago, I did a review on a magazine holder from extracarry.com. And this was designed to be worn in your pocket and look like nothing more than a pocket knife. And I was rather excited about this. But during that review, I made a comment something along the lines of, why didn't somebody else think of this sooner? Well, shortly after I did that review and it went out on my Facebook page and YouTube and uh, my website, I received an email from an owner of a company who said, wait a minute, we did think of this. And it turns out there are several different manufacturers of pocket knife looking, pocket knife style mag holders. So you've got the one that I had reviewed before, Extra Carry from ExtraCarry.com. You've got the Neo Mag and you've got the Snag Mag. And last but not least, you've got the Tecna Amend 2. So I was asked if I would review all of them and put them through the paces, go over where they're made, how they're made, what they're made out of, the price difference, how they will stand up, and most of all, whether or not they work and how well they work. So we're going to do something a little bit different, and we're going to do a comparison between these four different mag holders that are all designed to be used in a front pocket and look like nothing more than a pocket knife. Okay, first up is going to be the Snag Mag. Snag Mag. Now, I want you guys to take notice that every time I got one of these, I got one specific for the same magazine. So if you look there, it says Sig Sauer P365 12 round, right hand. And that right hand is important, okay, on this particular one. And I'll explain why as we go. Snag Mag can be found at 1791 gunleather.com 1791gunleather.com it's $21.99 and it has a limited lifetime warranty it is made in the USA but there's a lot of things I don't like about the snag mag and real quick I'll go over some of them before we show you how it goes in the pocket it's made out of an extremely thin Kydex type material. And this, this may very well be Kydex. I don't know. But you can see how thin it is in comparison to, like, say, a Kydex gun holster. It's extremely thin. And the reason I don't like that is how much it moves around and bends when you're wearing it. The other thing is, is it also had me wondering how long this clip would last the, with the way it's put together up top, and they're all pretty much put together the same way, but when you're dealing with a thin Kydex type plastic, I just have a feeling that that's not going to last very long. I could, I could probably pull that off. The other thing is, as I told you before, this was specific to a right-hander. The way this works in the pocket, this hook here snags the back of the pocket so that when you're wearing it, as you're pulling out the magazine, that hook will snag on the pocket and not allow it to come out of the pocket. And that way you can draw the magazine out of the holster and this stays behind. But here's the problem. If you want to wear this in your back pocket, because of the way it's designed, you have to get one for a left-handed shooter. Okay? Just because of the way this faces, when it's in the front pocket, it will work, but in the back pocket, it's got nothing to grab onto. It's not going to work. So you have to get one that's made for a left-hander. So that's drawback right there that I don't like. The other thing with this one, the magazine doesn't fit right. This is specific to my 12-round Sig Sauer magazine. And this thing is so loose in there, no matter what I do, it's just going to fall out. It moves around. It doesn't sit properly. The whole idea is that when this is in my pocket, it should look like a pocket knife. But if the pant pocket, and I'll show you again when I'm wearing it, this sticks out too high. And if I put it down lower, 
then I can't grab it properly to get it out because this is in the way and that shouldn't happen. It should sit up here and it doesn't matter which way I put it in there, it, it wants to drop, it's loose, it's just not a good fit. Lastly, it's open on the bottom to all the elements. And I don't like that all the dirt and dust and possibly even bullets coming out can happen while this is in my pocket because it's wide open and loose. So that's that first one. Now we'll show you how it is in the, in the pants. Okay, so here's the snag mag. And first I'm going to just get it in the pocket and you'll see how this works. So when it's in the pocket, this little piece here is what catches on the inside of the pocket as you're pulling out the magazine so that this won't just pop out like that. It actually should grab hold and, and not come out. So, once we get the magazine in there, we've got the issue that I was talking about where it drops down too far, which it just did, and I can't grab it. If Try it this way. We'll place it in there with the magazine already in there with the hopes that it'll stay the way it's supposed to. So there's the snag mac. Looks like a pocket knife. When you reach for it and pull out, you have to push your index finger towards the back of your pocket so that this will remain in the pocket as you're pulling the magazine out. And that does kind of sort of work, but again, I don't want to have to be thinking about this. God forbid, if I need an extra magazine, I want to be able to reach in there and, and not have to use my other hand, obviously and draw it out, I don't want to, you know, God forbid you're ever in a situation where you're using your weapon in a life and death situation, combat shooting. But if you've ever been in combat, if you've ever had that type of experience, you know that everything slows down and you get tunnel vision. And the last thing you're going to want to be thinking about or worried about is whether or not I'm, I need to push on the back of my pants so that this snag mag will work correctly not to mention that it keeps falling down inside I don't know I just it's too loose this one this one we can toss it I don't like it next one is the neo mag now the neo mag you can purchase at the neo mag.com the neo mag.com and the one that I've gotten here is the medium and if you look they have different sizes to fit different type magazines. So you've got your large ones for 45 ACP, medium for 9mm, and then your 40 Smith & Wessons, and your small for your 380s. Obviously, I got a medium to fit 9mm. This one is a little bit different than the last one we looked at. And I do have some things that I like about it, and some things that I dislike about it. But the first thing is, it does have, made in the USA, love that, and it does have a lifetime warranty. Now this one is made out of a black nitride steel. The clip is titanium. And then of course you have the magnet, which is what holds in the magazine. So this one, as I said, I do like this one better. Um, it's a much better fit overall and much more compact than the last one we looked at, but there's some drawbacks to this. Number one, they've glued in a, and I don't know if I can get it on camera here, you see that little circle underneath the clip. It's like a rubber back, and that's glued in there. I don't know if that ever is going to come out, but it makes it super, super tight. And when I say super tight, it's almost too tight. It's hard getting in your pants. Now, once you've got it in your pocket, it works great. And this one, unlike the snag mag, you can wear in the front or the back pocket. But what I don't like about it is as you move around throughout the day, especially if you sit down, it will slide within that magnet. And again, that defeats the whole purpose because now what's supposed to just look like a pocket knife, if this shifts in your pocket and slides up too far, it, it totally defeats the purpose and it's just moving all around. So that's the drawback 
to that one. The other thing is, there are a few aftermarket magazines that probably will not work with this because there's no metal. So, for example, your uh, ETS, your Magpul, they are not going to work with something that works with a magnet. Now, for you Glock fans, don't worry. Glock does have a inner core that is metal, and they do have their G version, their Glock version, and you can go to their website and find that. So, but overall, I do not like that it shifts around this much just sitting and standing. And we'll show you that and how it looks in the pocket because, again, it sits up a little high, and if I get it to where it's supposed to sit, it's going to shift as soon as I move around. Now, as I explained, it is a little difficult getting it open because it is an extremely tight clip. Once you get it in there, it ain't coming out. Okay, so that appears like a pocket knife, and I do like that. Get my magazine in there, and there it is. Now, if you look, you can see the top of the magazine is right at the top of where the clip is. You don't want to see the magazine, so I'm going to have to readjust this as best I can. There. I guess that's a little bit better. It's still towards the top, but if I have to pull my magazine out, that clip is staying, the magazine comes right out, no issues, no problems. So I definitely like this Neomag with the, with the magnet a lot better than the first one we looked at, the Snag Mag. Again, the drawback, as I move around, especially if I sit down, this is going to shift inside that magnet. It's going to shift, and that I don't like. So this is definitely a tight clip. So I really don't like the way it shifts around in there on that magnet. And again, it's open to all the elements of the inside of the pocket. This one is the Tecna Amend 2 Clip. The Tecna Amend 2 Clip. Now this can be found at amend2mags.com. That's amend2mags.com. Now, this is a universal that should be able to hold any magazine from a 22 long all the way up to a 10 millimeter double stack. And the way they achieve that is by using elastic and Velcro, and then the magazine just sits inside it. Now this one is $24.95. It has a lifetime warranty, and I couldn't really find on their website whether or not all of it is made in the USA as far as the parts. Specifically, what they put on their website is that it is produced in the USA with the majority of parts from Idaho and Utah. So I don't know what parts of this are made in the States and what parts aren't, but the majority of it is made in the United States. Now, the way this one works is it's Velcro, so all you have to do is strap it in and adjust the magazine to where you want it so it's sitting low enough so that when it rides in the pocket, it'll look like a pocket knife. Now, this is an awfully large clip. To me, this doesn't look like a pocket knife clip. It certainly doesn't look like the other pocket knife clips that the other ones have, or that my pocket knife even has for that matter. Also, what I don't like about this is if you have it adjusted snug, it's actually not easy to get the magazine out. But if you adjust it so that it is a little bit easier to remove the magazine, then you have that same problem of it shifting in your pocket when you sit down and stand up. So I can make this really super snug, but then when I try and draw it out of my pocket, it's not as simple. And I think, you know, that it'll stay put in my pocket, but when I need it, it might be a little bit more difficult to come out. 
I, I don't like that this Velcro can catch inside the pocket and do that and then all of a sudden it's just, it's open. I mean, I, I already, I actually did have that happen as I was sitting down, standing up and moving around that inside the pocket, this actually just lifted up and like that it fell out into my pocket. Um, so this is the Tecna Amend Clip 2 and we'll show you uh, how that works in the pocket. Um, I'm not even going to bother to put this in my pocket and try and put the magazine in there. It's, it's really got to be done before you put it in your pocket because of this elastic uh, Velcro type design. So once you get it in there, pushing it down all the way so that we won't see it, put it in our pocket. This has a very tight clip on it too. God, none of these are easy getting in the pants pocket so far. There we go. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, you be the judge. Does that look like a pocket knife? I, I got to be one hell of a big pocket knife to have a clip that size. But that's that's the, uh, the way the Tecna Amend 2 clip works. And I can pull it out. Again, what I don't like about it. Oh, man is if I make it at the right tightness, for lack of a better term, if I put the right amount of tension on it so that it will be loose enough for me to pull out without having any issues, then it moves around in the pocket just like the magnet one did, the Neomag, get that down all the way. As I bend and sit and move around, what happens is, is it, it creeps up and it's, it starts to come up like that as I bend my leg. So again, you know, it, if I make it tighter than that, then you have run the, the risk of not being able to pull it out when you want to. Um, and again, this one, like the other three that were, the other two that we've looked at thus far, because the bottom is wide open, it leaves everything open to the elements. The last one is the Extra Carry from ExtraCarry.com. This is the one that started it all. This is the one that I had done a review on, and I actually did the review on their 10-round magazine clip, and this one is their 12-round magazine clip. And it's interesting that they do make them in different lengths, and I mentioned that in my original review of their product, but first let me run down everything. ExtraCarry.com, it is $55. It is made of a carbon fiber reinforced nylon, nylon, pardon me, it is made in the USA and it has a limited lifetime warranty. So the first thing that I want to cover, you know, I had mentioned that the, the last review I did was for the 10 rounder. Well, the 10 rounder, you want it to sit at the right height. So, you know, something I've shown you with all the others is that when it's in your pocket, you don't want to see the top of the magazine. It should look like you're just holding a pocket knife in your pocket. Well, if I were to put my 10 rounder in here, it would drop down too low from the top and I wouldn't be able to reach it as easily. So that's, that's one thing. They actually went ahead and they make, for the P365, a tall one and a short one, depending on whether you're using the 10 round magazine or the 12 round magazine. The other thing is the way this attaches to the pocket. When you flip that up, and you can see here these nubs, and then you bring this back down once it's in your pocket, that thing is locked on the fabric and it is not going anywhere. And we'll show you that in the last part. The other part is the way it's designed. And notice it's got a screw, it's not a rivet like the other ones. So the screw is going to maintain its, it, as far as longevity, it's gonna last a lot longer. It's not gonna rip out or break out 
This nylon is a lot thicker than, for example, the snag mag nylon that I showed you in the beginning, or pardon me, the snag mag, which is made of that kydex material, was probably almost half the thickness of this, and I was worried it was going to break. And then the part that I really like about this one, you know, when it's in there all the way, nothing else is getting in there. And every single one of the other ones that I showed you, it's going to be open to the elements of whatever's in your pocket. It's going to get lint and dirt. And the bullets may very well come out depending on the type of magazine you're carrying. This one, you're totally enclosed all the way around. So we're going to show you how this one's in the pocket. Um, and then we'll just do a wrap up of all of them. This one is made for the 12 round magazine, but I want to show you how much easier it is getting this in and out of the pocket. As I showed you earlier, you just flip this up, you stick it in your pocket and you push the clip down. Now it's locked in place because of those two little pieces of plastic that kind of hook in. I can pull on this all I want and it is not going to come out. But if I grab the magazine, not an issue. Okay, again, I can also put that magazine back in here without having to remove the magazine holder. Because of its design, being all the way around and creating that box for it, I can just put it back in. And now I'm good to go. It's still tight in my pocket. And if I want, I can pull the magazine out. So, you know, the, the best of the bunch, in my opinion, due to its design and the fact that nothing is getting in to the bottom of this magazine. Bullets are not going to fall out. Nothing is going to get in there to create any kind of havoc. No lint, no dirt, no dust, no nothing. It's easy in, easy out. It's made out of this carbon fiber reinforced nylon that is not going to break. Overall, you know, made in the USA, limited lifetime warranty, just like all the others. If I had to go and line up all four of them in order of best to worst, extracarry.com would be first. The Neomag with the magnet would be second. The Tecna Amend 2 clip with the Velcro universal size would be third. And the Snag Mag would be last. You guys can make your own decision. Hopefully I covered everything so that you could see the pros and cons. Again, Putting, you know, credit where credit is due. All four are made in the USA. All four have some type of lifetime or limited lifetime warranty. They range in price from $21.99 to $55, but you get what you pay for. So bottom line, at the end of the day, two thumbs up. The one that I really, really like is going to be the extracarry.com. And you, you know, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong with this. The way the design is, what it's made out of, the way the clip works, the way it covers the entire magazine, this has everything going for it. So in my opinion, the extracarry.com, the best of the four. If you want something to throw in your pocket and not be obvious that you're carrying an extra magazine, there you go. Looks just like a pocket knife. I've got my extra mag with me. And until next time, as always, I've got your six, and we will see you at the range.